Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this preview of Saturday's game against Bolton. Um, 5,000 Wolves fans making the journey up. It's going to be a tremendous atmosphere with promotion already sealed and only a point needed to guarantee the title. I'm expecting a very, very exciting day and hopefully the weather will be as good as it has been over the last couple of days as well. Now before I start this video properly, I'd just like to extend my best wishes and hope that he makes a very good recovery to Dazzling Dave. He's not been very well over the last couple of days, he's made a little vlog about it, so if you head over to his channel, give him a little bit of support and, uh, and send him your best wishes. So yeah, the game on Saturday is bound to be a, a great atmosphere in the, in the stands, but so Nuno will be encouraging his team to do a professional job and get all three points from the remaining three games. We've got the opportunity to beat the club's points record, which was set back in 2014 when we won League One. So if we could get nine points from the last three games, we would beat that record with 104 points, which would be, I think, testament to the team. And def they definitely deserve it. They've, they've been the best team in this division. And I think that hopefully by the end of the season, the league table will reflect that. And with the way that Fulham and Cardiff have stumbled over recent weeks dropping points, we could end up being more than 15, 18 points clear at the top of the table, which would be a magnificent achievement. As for Bolton, though, they have got a couple of former Wolves players in Carl Henry and Adam LaFondra, who will be desperate to get on the score sheet or to make something happen uh, tomorrow. Uh, obviously, down the bottom of the table, they are very, very eager for any sort of points. A point for Bolton tomorrow would be a fantastic result. As for team news with the Wolves, Cavaliero won't be playing Neves is OK, despite going off after about an hour on Sunday against Blues. Uh, but Ryan Bennett is also not fit. I'm not sure, well, as has been the case all season, that Wolves don't come out and say, oh, he's got this wrong with him. Uh, Bennett is not fit for Saturday. So that opens up a selection dilemma at the back. We saw Roderick Miranda and we saw Danny Bart really struggle in the last two games that they've played. So... Does it open the door for Courtney Hawes? I personally would like to see him, and I think perhaps with him signing a contract in recent weeks to extend his stay at Wolves to 2021, I think it is. I think he should definitely be given a go. Uh, it would take a bit of a reshuffle because uh, Hawes is a left-footed, predominantly player, so he'd have to. Him and Bolly would have to swap, which is not out of the question. I think Bolly's capable of playing in all three positions across that back three. Or perhaps Danny Bart being given a go. I mean, he's the club captain. It must have been hard for him all season to have watched the tremendous football that's been going on at the Wolves uh, from the sidelines as a fan, as a spectator like the rest of us. Um, and as the club captain, he'll be wanting to have some sort of impact on the title. And, and hopefully, there's part of me that hopes he can be he can play in the last few games and, and make an impact. Now, since Wolves getting promoted on Saturday, there have been a couple of rumours about Ruben Neves leaving the club. Uh, he did come out on Monday and say that he's definitely staying. He, you know, he's got no intention to leave. And I do believe that. I think having made a huge change, if you just think about his personal life, to move from Portugal to England with his young family, he's just had a baby in the last year as well. It would be quite unsettling for him again to go move up north where he's been rumoured to be, you know, Manchester United are interested in him or Liverpool are interested in him. I th it's a big gamble for him to go to a big club like that where he won't be the star player, he won't be playing every week. He, you know, he's made such progress this year in terms of the international stage, even though he's been on the second tier of English football to have played five times for Portugal in the last year is magnificent. And he can continue his development being the star player at Wolves. I think I can see him at least staying for next season and I do believe that he will. And with Arsene Wenger now stepping down as the manager of Arsenal at the end of the season, Nuno has been included in the long list of managers who have been linked with the job on various betting websites and I think he's around about 40 to 1 to be uh, the, Ars the next Arsenal manager which are quite long odds when you come to managers I think it's more likely to be an established top manager like Conte or perhaps Ancelotti or wh whoever else has been there and done it they're not going to take a gamble with although he has managed in the Champions League he hasn't managed in the Premier League and things like that so I think Nuno will be safe in that respect too. Thank you very much for watching today's preview on the game on Saturday. I hope everybody who's going enjoys it. And I'll see you on Saturday evening for a review of the game. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and everything else, whatever. Bye-bye.